here are my top five tips that I think every new grower needs to know before they start growing their own za. Tip number one, you're going to need a grow tent if you plan on growing indoors. Don't get me wrong, you could grow outdoors, but that's not something I know how to do or my specialty. So for this video, we're going to talk about growing indoors. There's mad different companies that sell kits that come with everything that you need. If you really on a budget, you could go on Amazon and find a kit for like $200. But what I recommend is to save enough money so you could get a tent kit from a company that's reputable so vivo sun ac infinity mars hydro they all have kits that come with pretty much everything you will need to grow once you get that kit you really don't need nothing else besides a few extra small things that we'll talk about later um there's two different type of kits there's smart grow kits and there's just your regular kit now with the smart grow kit you could control everything from your app don't get me wrong these kits are more expensive than your regular kit, but in my opinion, I feel like it's so much easier to control your grow, especially as a newcomer, that I recommend if you have the money or if you could save up to get you a smart grow tent. Tip number two, and remember, everything that I'm telling you is my opinion and my opinion only. Everyone finds their own way that they grow and whatever works for them works for them. Me personally, I use dry amendments, so there's liquid nutrients and then there's dry nutrients. Me, I think every beginner should start off with dry nutrients. The thing with dry nutrients is you're feeding the soil, not the plant. With liquid, you're feeding the plant, not the soil. So let me break it down for you. With dry amendments, all I have to do is amend my soil on day one when I'm planting. A month later, re-amend it, and then a month from then, re-amend it again. If I'm going for four months, I'll re-amend it again. So basically, all you gotta do is top dress. And for me, that's easier because then all you have to do is water the plant with regular pH balanced water. You don't have to feed, you don't have to do all this MAV and add all these different nutrients. Nah, you just sprinkle in the powder, massage it into the soil, and then water. That's easy for me. Tip number three, and I can't stress this enough, pH your water. Everyone says whatever they want to say, pH your water. If you don't pH your water and you just give your plant straight tap water, you can make it go into nutrient log. You could really harm your ladies. So make sure you pH your water. It costs 20 to $30 on Amazon to get a nice pH meter, and it really takes the guesswork out of everything. So make sure you get that pH meter and you pH that water. Tip number four, and like I said, this is my opinion. Autos versus photos. For me personally, if you're a new grower, do not go with autos. I know a lot of people, even myself included, thought autos was the best option because they grow faster, you, they don't care about the light schedule. But let me tell you the real truth behind autos. Autos are not forgiving. If you mess up on an auto or you stunt it or anything like that, it's going to flip into flower. With photos, you get to control that. If you mess up the plant, if you trim too much off, you could extend the veg period with your photo period seeds and allow them to get healthier and grow back. With autos, when that auto flower says that it's ready to, uh, to flower, that shit's going to flower. And last but not least, tip number five. Now, this is probably the easiest tip, but something that everyone does. Be patient. Remember why you started wanting to grow your own za. Remember all the work you put in, all the money. Be patient. This is a process. These are delicate plants. These are your ladies. Take care of them. Take your time. Don't overwater. Don't water every day because it looks a little dry because that's a problem all in itself. And we'll talk about that in another video. But be patient. This whole thing is a process. And to me personally, I love the process and I love watching the ladies grow and I, le I love learning about it. So remember, take your time, be patient, relax. Don't rush the process. Thanks for watching this video.